Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're gonna be doing a tutorial, guys, on a pumpkin and melon farm. Now, what's great about this, guys, it's fully automatic, and you can make this any size you want. Now, because we got the new observer blocks, guys, we can make this extremely efficient so that once that specific pumpkin and melon grows, that's the only one that gets activated. So it really creates a lag free environment. And all the items will go directly into that chest right in front of you. And we have this really cool light indication system to let you know when the items get in. And as you can see, guys, this bad boy works amazingly. Now, enough talking, let's jump right into it and I'll show you exactly how to build this. Now, just pause the video, make sure you have the setup. The first three blocks in the front are needed, but the back, like I said, you can make this any size you want. That's pretty much your choice. Now, right over here, guys, we're going to go one block inwards, place one there, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Fantastic. Now we're going to place a repeater right there going forward, like so, and then replicate it on the opposite side. Then add two pieces of rest on dust on both sides and a block in the middle, like so. Then right there, you're going to place two droppers, a block there, and a block right there with a comparator going outwards. And make sure that the comparators are on. See? Then a block right in front of it, and some redstone dust there, and of course a block right in front of this one, and a redstone dust like so. Now you're going to place one large chest right there, and two redstone lamps right there to represent the light indication system. Then you're going to place a straight line of hoppers all the way till you get to the end, right there, you see? And repeat it like so on this side, they're both supposed to be going in a straight line towards the droppers. Fantastic. Now you're gonna place some furnaces right over here, guys. And at this point, guys, make sure you put one item in each furnace. Now, once you've done that to all the furnaces, you're then going to place a comparator going outwards. Awesome. Or right, guys, it's actually really coming together. Trust me. <laughs> Now you're going to dig one block from the front of the comparators on both sides. And you're going to place a sticky piston like so. And that's going to be like right at ground level. And make sure it's facing downward. You see how it's right there at the edge of ground level. And you're going to repeat that on both sides. Now, once you've done that, you're going to place a sticky piston, well, <laughs> some dirt, right across like so, and just fill in that entire gap. Then you're going to place some blocks right back in that gap on the bottom. And not to worry, guys, these sticky pistons will pick it up at one point, so don't <laughs> really stress out too much about that. Then you'll place some repeaters going forward like so on both ends. You see? See how the repeaters are right there? And a block in front of those repeaters. Once again, you got to repeat this on both sides. It's very symmetrical. Then right over here, guys, you're going to add your observer blocks. Make sure the face is going inwards. And like I said, the pistons will get activated. Then you're going to place a sticky piston going forward, All right? Place it on the edge like so, and just string it right along. See that? So best bet, kind of hit it right there at that corner so that it goes forward, that's it. And stretch it right across. Those are sticky pistons, okay? Fantastic. Now at this point, place two blocks up there like so, and stretch it right across. 
So one there, delete that, and once again, repeat the same pattern. And at this point, guys, I want you to place a redstone torch on top first, and then one on the bottom. Otherwise, trust me, you're going to get a quick pulse effect, and we don't want that. <laughs> once again, right on top, and right on the bottom as well. That's the kind of effect you wanted to get. The second an item pops in front of it, it's going to push it forward slowly and then retract very easily. Now, at this point, we're going to cover this up, add a straight line of blocks of your choice, and let's pretty much fill in the gap over here. Now, we're going to really decorate this. Now, you're going to add two blocks like so on both ends. And you can add some stairs there and there, like so, to create this kind of C shape. And you can add some glass right in the middle. And a straight line of half slabs. So that's going to be the front of it here, guys. Now we're going to replicate the same thing in the back. So add your two blocks like so. You can either use spruce wood or any block of your choice. And at this point, guys, you really want to decorate this. I mean, really put your own style to it and just really make this come to life. I mean, I'm really adding some details. I want this to not only function right, but look just as good as it works. Now that we replicated both sides on both ends, we're going to go right over here parallel to the stone and add a few blocks on both ends. So add one, two, add a spruce wood or, like I said, a block of your choice. And repeat this on both sides. Now, this is very important, guys. You want to plant your either pumpkins or melons. And the cool thing here, guys, for pumpkins and melons, you don't need water in case you didn't know that. It's not required. It's the only one that doesn't require any water at all. So don't stress that out. It works the same way. You get the same rights. Now you're going to place some blocks right over here on top of the observer blocks. And this is the perfect time to add some torches for lighting. And of course, replicate that on both ends. And then just trim it off with some half slabs. Now at this point, you're going to add some stairs there and wrap it right across. And I like to kind of curve it at the end to give it a little more detail. And then all you have to do here, guys, is add some half slabs. And you're going to repeat this on the opposite side. So once again, you should have this look once you're done. Now you just decorate it and the system is complete. I'm happy you guys enjoy this. And leave a comment and let me know what further projects you would love to see. Thanks. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.